maybe the biggest turnout ever in all the country and in hearing a lot of problems in polling places, you're not. But if you look closely, you'll find them. And there's one in Philadelphia that's getting some extra attention today after a video showed up on the YouTube. Take a look. According to the guy who shot this video, it was taken outside a polling place this morning. The focus is two men who appear to be members of the Black Panthers. One of them's holding what looks kind of like a nightstick. The man who took the video confronted the men, saying he could yeah, he could be considered intimidating to voters. I'm getting a lot of email about this sort of thing. Rick Leventhal's there, and he visited that polling station today. Take the story from there, Tricky. Well, we're still here, Shep, and uh, the Black Panther member or parent member of the Black Panthers who had the nightstick was escorted out of here by the Philadelphia police who tell Fox that this man was not uh, charged with any crime. He wasn't accused of any crime. Uh, he left by his own free will. The district attorney has looked at this and said no crime was committed. But there were some people who apparently felt the two Black Panthers standing in front of a polling place, one with a nightstick, was in fact intimidating and could be intimidating to voters. We can show you uh, that one Black Panther, a man, who identifies himself as a member of the new Black Panther Party, the Philadelphia chapter, still standing here. I can tell you that we spoke with Dr. Malik Shabazz, who uh, is a representative of the new Black Panther Party, and he says they have 300 members across the country in places like Virginia, um, New York, Washington, Missouri, and Ohio, but he says they don't have anyone in an official capacity in the city of Philadelphia, so we're not sure what the dispute is about. Uh, in that regard. But I want to show you the video that we uh, shot a short time ago when I asked this gentleman uh, about what he was doing here and about the reports that he had intimidated potentially uh, a poll watcher earlier today. Take a look. I don't know why you're here at the polling place with the camera in the first place. Well, it's our constitutional right to be at the polling place but to record the... I don't want you recording me. How about the community doesn't want you recording them? People come to vote, and they come to vote in a peaceful, peaceful atmosphere. They don't come to have somebody put taking cameras and microphones and putting it in their face. Well, what, do people come to vote with expecting to see someone with a nightstick out front? Was that... I'm not, nobody here has a nightstick, and so I don't know what you're talking about. Well, there was a person with a nightstick. We have video of it. I don't care about what was. I'm talking about what is. I think the important thing to remember here, Shepard, is that there are some 1,681 polling places in the city of Philadelphia, and there have been some reports of minor problems, but no security issues have been reported. And as far as we know, the voting has been relatively smooth, although there have been some disruptions with voting machines going down and that sort of thing. They have paper ballots on standby. There are poll watchers uh, at pretty much, as far as we can tell, all these polling places. And from what we're told, uh, voting is pretty, pretty heavy today, uh, and so far things are relatively smooth. And maybe that one guy was just going rogue. It's kind of what it sounds like. Ricky, have a great day. We'll be checking in with Leventhal throughout the night. Pennsylvania.